Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Hannah if you're new here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to edit YouTube videos with your iPad. Only your iPad, you don't need anything else. And I use an iPad Pro with an Apple Pencil, second generation. Now we're going to get straight into the accessories and the apps that I use to edit. Number one, I use an iPad Pro. And I also have an Apple Pencil with it. This is the second generation. I think my iPad Pro is 2021. It's the new one, so. And it's also a 12.9 inch, so it's the biggest one that they have. Alongside of my iPad. The accessories that I use is obviously the Apple Pencil and then I also use a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse. I just have the Logitech Pebble Mouse, I think it's what it's called, and then I forgot what the keyboard is called, but if you want to know what it is, just comment down below and I'll put it in the description. You don't necessarily need a keyboard and mouse, it's just easier and if you already have a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse, just use that. Sometimes it's faster to use a keyboard and mouse while I'm editing and honestly just depends what I'm doing, especially when I'm doing the fancier edits and I have a lot of titles. It's just easier to type with an actual keyboard instead of using my fingers to type every single little thing. This Bluetooth keyboard and mouse works perfectly fine for my iPad. It works great and I do a lot of 4K footage and I do not notice a lagging at all or anything. Those are all the accessories that I use for editing. I switched between my Apple Pencil and the keyboard and mouse. Now we're going to get straight into what I actually use for an app for editing. And I use LumaFusion, which is $30 on the App Store. It is the best editing app that you can use on the iPad, 100%. It's not that expensive either. And obviously you can't get very elaborate editing softwares on an iPad because you can't download softwares like you can on a desktop or Mac. So LumaFusion is in the App Store. It is $30 and it is 100% by far the best editing app there is on the iPad. It's very beginner friendly. I do 4K footage. That's the only kind of footage that I use and it barely ever lags. Sometimes I'll be using it for a few hours. I might notice it lags, so I'll just clear out of the app and go back into it, and it is completely fine. You can do all of the necessary edits you need for YouTube videos, and you can even get into more elaborate edits with LumaFusion. It is just amazing and I have used that for the majority of my videos. There's also iMovie and I used that for a while. I did not use that on the iPad. I actually just borrowed someone's MacBook when I would edit my videos and I would use iMovie. And iMovie is great if you really absolutely do not want to buy anything. I just, LumaFusion is only $30 and it has so much more than iMovie and obviously LumaFusion has its limitations because it is not a professional editing software but they have more updates coming in the future and it is great for a cheaper option that is actually still good and it is 100% the best option for your iPad and I do not regret buying it. Next thing that I use along with LumaFusion is I use Procreate, which it is $9.99 on the App Store, I believe. And I use Procreate mostly for handwritten titles. So if I wanna have cute little, more personal handwritten titles instead of text, I'll write my titles. You can also do animated titles. You can do animations. You can make GIFs. You can do so many things with Procreate. It's basically a graphic design app, honestly. And I also use Procreate for all of my thumbnails. That's the main thing that I use Procreate for. It is perfect for my thumbnails. You can also use Canva. I used Canva at the very beginning of my YouTube channel, but I just find Procreate, you can do so many amazing things with it because you can cut out, you can erase backgrounds. So if I wanted just me cut out and have a different background behind me, for example, the thumbnail that you clicked on with the LumaFusion background. I can do that on Procreate and I do all of that with Procreate. You can also do text on Procreate, so if you don't want handwritten titles for your thumbnails, you can add text right on the app. 
The next app that I use is called iFont and I just started recently using this and it's basically, it's a free app and it lets you download fonts straight to LumaFusion and straight to Procreate. So LumaFusion is limited on the fonts that it has. So if you want some more trendy fonts or just cooler fonts, LumaFusion doesn't necessarily have that. So iFont, you can install it for free and you just share it straight to LumaFusion and it's very simple and easy and it's free and it really enhances your videos when you have a nice font. So that is all of the apps and accessories that I use for editing YouTube videos on my iPad. Next, we're going to go into step one of the editing process on an iPad. Step one for me is the rough cut. So a rough cut is basically where you just take all your footage, all your raw footage, and you just go in and clip all of your videos. And you make cuts where you have pauses, where you have ums. If you're setting up an angle, you clip out the beginning part and the end part. Just make cuts. And how I cut my videos, you can either use the scissors button at the bottom of LumaFusion with your Apple Pencil or your finger, or if you have a keyboard, you can do Control B or Command B. And I also add music here if I want to, for example, do a montage. I will add music so that I can clip the videos to the beat of the music. For example, if I'm switching angles, so I'll go from this angle to this angle, then I will clip it to the music. Clipping it to the music just makes your videos look, it just makes your videos look more professional. And it's a very easy thing to do. You just look at the sound waves and clip it where the beat is. And then you just delete the portion of the video that you do not want to keep. After I clip all of the videos, I then select all of the videos and I have a preset for color grading that I use and you can basically make your own preset that way. If you know if it's a sit down talking video like this, you can change the preset here. I'll show you a bunch of different presets here and then we'll go back to the main preset that I use. For most of my videos, this is the preset that works. I like it. It makes it brighter and a little bit more blue toned instead of yellow toned, which I prefer. And so you just go into the color grading section and make all of your edits. You change the brightness, the contrast, all of those things. And then you press the star button in the right, right above all of the editing areas and you save it as a preset. And after I color grade, clip all of my videos, that is when I start to go into the fancier edits. So I have completed the rough cut. Now we get into the portion where I make it look like more of a masterpiece. I add fancier and more elaborate edits to make it more entertaining. If I haven't added music to any montages or something, then I'll go ahead and do that here too. But most often I add the music during the rough cut just to make it easier so that I don't have to go back and adjust all of the clips. The main thing that I do in this fancy edit portion is add titles. I add title screens and overlay titles. And how you add an overlay title is you press the plus button on the bottom of LumaFusion and you press overlay title and you can add your title to the top of your footage and change the font. You can add shapes if you want as well. And this is where I would also add handwritten titles from Procreate. At this time, I'd go into Procreate, make a handwritten title and add it to the top of the footage as a PNG file. And it's basically like adding a picture on top of your footage. And something that I also like to do, I've started doing this more recently, is I like to add creative titles. So instead of just straight text across the screen, I will actually make the letters curve, make them vertical. How I do this is I go into my title that I made that I overlaid over the footage and you can add more text inside of this title and you can add the letters individually and make it into a cool shape. Sometimes I also like to make it where the text will wrap around an object. This is also where I would add sound effects. So I use the clicker sound a lot. 
I use this a lot, especially if I'm putting text over the screen, just to kind of announce that text is popping up. I also use pop-up sounds, I also use typing sounds, and I get all of my sound effects from YouTube. You can just look up copyright free sound effects and you look up the certain sound effect that you want and screen record it from YouTube. This is also where I would add voiceovers if I need to. If I'm explaining something over a sped up portion of the video, this is where I would add in the voiceovers to a montage or something like that. During montages, let's say I am setting up the camera and doing a sped up portion of me cleaning the room or a sped up portion of me editing, I will use keyframes in order to zoom in and zoom out of the video. LumaFusion is great. It has all that you need, especially if you're a beginner. This is what I use as a beginner. I started with iMovie and then after a couple months in, I moved over to LumaFusion and it was very seamless to learn, very, very easy to learn, very user-friendly and Something that I love about LumaFusion is that when you are scrolling through that 4K footage, it does not lag. I could have hours of 4K footage in this LumaFusion app and it does not lag. I mean, it is truly amazing. I've tried using computers and it just lags more than LumaFusion does for me. And that's one of the things I really like about LumaFusion. I am still learning. You can also search on YouTube certain edits if you want to do certain edits. For example, if you want to put text behind an object behind your head while you're talking, you can also do that. If you guys want to see how I do that, comment down below and I will show you guys that in another video. But that is pretty much the whole system for how I edit my YouTube videos with my iPad. It is very simple, very easy. This iPad can do, it is amazing how much it can do. I am making just as good videos as someone who would use a laptop. Now, LumaFusion, of course, does have limitations because it is not professional. For example, Final Cut Pro can probably use a lot more things, but you also do have a lot more to learn with something like that, whereas LumaFusion is great for a beginner because it's easy to learn, it's easy to get you straight into editing because you don't have to sit there and learn it for months. So that is the whole entire video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys learned something from this video to help you start a YouTube channel, to help you with editing your videos more effectively with an iPad. But that is going to be the end of today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.